What is up guys, Ace here from Fet to Play Games and welcome back to the channel. I'm just gonna bring up a certain indie game that I have been playing for about four days now as a digital copy and it has released in Japan as a physical copy on the 25th of November 2021 and uh, I just easily can say, I mean this game as I'm playing it right now, you know, as, as I make this video, I am continue I continue to play the game and get into get deeper into the story and getting to know the characters. I can easily say that this game has a very compelling story and you know it kind of makes me want to say that this game could be a holy grail of all indie games. And let's talk about this game. It's called Eastward. All right guys, so Eastward, let's talk about this game for a little bit. And I don't wanna to give too much information, not too much to talk about wherever I'm at currently in the game. I just wanna tell you guys how amazing this game is right now for me. Anyway, I'm an RPG loving guy and some of you guys know, I have recently gotten into indie games and I could easily say this game could be and possibly a holy, 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 a holy grail of indie games. Let me tell you guys why. Uh, one, it's been developed by three friends from Shanghai who have done an excellent game creating a compelling story uh, between two characters and I feel like they have embedded a lot of real life experiences within the game and that's kind of how I see it like and there's a lot of um, the environment of the game there's a lot to like about it and easily because I come from Asia I do come from the Philippines and some of the um, geographical um, designs of the game kind of reminds me a little bit of my country in terms of what it kind of looks like uh, when, when you play the so game. So the character development between the two main characters is really amazing and I just feel like John and Sam, who are the main characters of Eastward, kind of reminds me a little bit of the characters Joel and Ellie from The Last of Us. They kind of develop that type of tight bond between father and daughter, and that kind of how that's kind of how the bond between John and Sam as well. As soon as John kind of takes over the guardianship of Sam and you know kind of adventures along with her with her while he's adventuring within the whole realm of the game you will see uh, between cutscenes that there's going to be a ton of character interactions between Sam and John and you know you get to know these two amazing characters that was created by these three developers who I feel like geniuses because they've you know although this game is just an indie game I just feel like they've poured a lot of their knowledge in creating this bond and the way people are gonna get connected with these two characters. So guys all in all I feel like this game I can put it on top of my rank top 10 this could easily be number one of my best indie games RPG that I have played recently even though I'm still currently playing wherever I'm currently at in the game I'm still playing it but I could easily rank this at number one and also possibly this game will be a holy grail RPG game indie game that will be highly sought after as soon as you know whenever the nintendo switch phases out and you know who knows when that will be but i just feel like you know don't miss out on this wonderful rpg i just feel like you know i have to say something I, you know i'm not trying to be biased or anything even though i'm a big lover of rpg in this game was really made i just don't don't want to keep it for myself i want to talk to you guys about it so you guys will be informed how this game has come and how the game has progressed and what i like about the game and hopefully you guys try this out for yourself you know don't cloud your judgment definitely check this out it's called the eastward and it's already available in play asia if you guys hover over there they should have some more 
um, standard copy in stock so definitely get one for yourself if you guys are a physical copy type of guy or you can just get this by your steam or the eShop on the Nintendo Switch anyway guys that's all for it for now um, I just wanted to talk about Eastward and this is truly a wonderful RPG and I just feel like I don't want people to kind of just you know pass by and miss out on a wonderful RPG anyway thank you so much for watching the video until then until I find another RPG to talk about I'll make another video for you guys until then thank you so much for watching if this is your first time in the channel consider subscribing to the channel and hit that notification bell so you'll be the first to get notified whenever I make another video till then see you guys later.